first thing you want to do is download Komodo Edit. This is your text editor. Um, we're going to basically do all of our projects within Komodo Edit. So uh, with whatever operating system you're on, or excuse me, whatever operating system I'm on, you'll be able to still follow it. Um, so download it. And what it's going to do is it's going to go into um, your home folder, or excuse me, your downloads folder. And then you're going to want to right click on this. You won't see that folder. You'll see this tar archive. So open with archive manager. Just click that. It will make this folder for you. So we want to actually use that install.sh. And the way we're going to do that is in terminal. So you type out terminal. Uh, and that will come up just like that. So this is similar to command prompt, but it's actually a Unix based. So um, Linux and Mac will both look pretty much exactly like this. So LS works and so does DIR. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to change directory into downloads and list out. We're going to change into this directory. So I'm going to right click on that and just do a copy. And then next to CD, I'll just press paste. And now it's in there. Um, so all you do is dot slash install dot sh. And I'm just going to press enter. And I already have it installed, so I'm going to say no, but you won't even see over uh, overriding it. So um, the next thing we want to do is we actually want to follow their install guide a little bit. So click on that. We are going to add Komodo Edit to the path. So we're going to do this one. So back into terminal there. Just going to follow that along um, exactly so you guys can see what I'm doing. Export path equals. First, I'm going to show you where it is. Um, so we're on the main folders here. Komodo edit eight is now there, and that's what we're export. What that's what path we're exporting. So export path equals. Modo edit eight slash bin and then path press enter cool and then we'll do a pseudo ln s same thing Komodo edit eight slash bin slash Komodo and then slash user slash local slash bin slash Komodo Press enter, put in your password, and mine failed because it already exists. Yours will not say that. And now if we do Komodo, it's actually going to open up Komodo for us. Um, it's going to do it shortly. It's going to load it up. Uh, it might take a moment. So uh, recent files, no, I'm not going to do that. And you just right click here, and you can lock it to launcher. That way it stays. Um, so you don't actually have to type in Komodo every time. So we're going to actually quit it. And then that quits too. So now let's actually just hit Komodo. Um, no. And if we notice, it's not in an operating of Komodo, which is perfect for us. Okay, so now that we have Komodo Edit installed, um, it's time to get pip installed. So we can close out Komodo. Um, go back into your terminal and uh, remember when we if you just type out pip on Ubuntu you um, you sh you will see a lot of times you'll see uh, what you need to write so we just do Python pip so Type out sudo apt-get install python pip. Uh, now you have pip installed, so you can do pip install django. And mine's already installed, but you will see that as well. So now that you have pip and django, uh, django's, it's pretty much all ready to go for you. So we can do a django admin.py. Actually, let's change our directory here. First, we'll see where we are. Change our directory into documents. List everything out. And we are going to do a Django admin.py and we'll call this Linux project. Oops, we want to do start project. Linux project. Okay, list out. 
So there's Linux project there. So we'll change directory into that. Just kind of see what's going on in there. Okay, cool. Looks like we have our Django stuff installed. Let's open Komodo Edit back up. And we're not going to do that. So we're going to add a new project. And we're going to call it uh, Linux project. And we're going to put it into documents right near where Linux project is and just hit save and then right click on Linux project go to add existing folder click on Linux project and then right click on that save double click cool we now have all of our Django stuff installed so let's just go into settings first and set up the server and we're going to use SQL light 3 and we're going to call it Linux project dot SQLite. All right. So save that. Control S will do it quickly. And we're going to go um, back into our Linux project. List it out. Make sure you have manage.py in there. This is the root folder of your project. And we'll do a Python manage.py and we'll do a sync database. And looks like everything's working. So we want to create a super user. So say yes to that. I'm going to do jmitchell3. jmitchell3 at gmail. And I'll make a password. Oops, spelled it wrong. All right, cool. And the next thing I'll do is python manage.py and run server. There we go. And you can right click on this and open the link. Another way to do that, of course, is to just copy it, right click and copy, and then go into Firefox and paste it. Well, there we go. We have our first ever Django powered page, and this is how you would do it on Linux. Um, so everything going forward is pretty much the same as what you'll see on the Windows, uh, or excuse me, on the Mac. The Mac version will work pretty much exactly the same with the exception of, of a few things of like how it's going to look and all that. But uh, overall, it will be exactly the same. And one other thing is when when you want to quit the, the servers, you just hit control C. And there you go. Uh, that's it. And notice that it made that SQLite uh, file for us. We didn't actually have to make it. Um, so what I would recommend is you skip any MySQL stuff. Um, if you see that, uh, there's no real reason to get into it yet. Uh, there will be a point that you do, but most importantly is just to follow along with using, um, you just want to use SQLite 3. And we do discuss South, and you do want to use South, so you can go ahead and still follow along with those things. So let me know if you have any questions, but uh, we now have our Linux computers up and going. Notice it was probably the easiest one to set up um, versus uh, Mac or Windows, uh, if you watched either one. Uh, Linux was probably the easiest one to do, and that's because um, open source platform, uh, a lot of, a lot of uh, Python users love Linux. Um, so, yeah. All right, guys. See you in the next one.